me, I'm a straight man, I started watching trans porn because it was just erotic in a different way that I've never seen before. I needed more stimulation. Uh uh. Yo, what's good with y'all boys? Today we got the Mountain Duo deck. We've been W's after W's on YouTube. If you haven't subbed, sub. Don't be a dumb nigga. Today we got Jubilee for y'all. If team boys were 100% honest, let's get straight to it. Play the video! <coughs> In an are we sure these are all boys? Culture wars and perfect facades. People can be afraid to express how they really feel. Where is it? So we brought together seven strangers, protected their identities, and asked them all seven burning audience questions. Okay, okay. Can't wait. What will be revealed? I'ma participate, cause I'm a nigga that don't give a fuck. You can see my face, I'ma still participate. When we take the mask off. Oh, uh, okay, 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 okay. Mask off. Liz? Liz? Oh, we said boys. <laughs> Thought we said boys. Liz. Maybe it's if just a girl name. Is yes. You will flip on your life. Okay. Do you watch porn? Okay, so you're getting straight to it. Everybody watches porn here. If you're a boy, you've watched porn before. I mean, it just depends. Like when you look at it from a religious perspective, it might be bad. Okay, let's see. Brandon. Brandon, you've never watched porn before, Brandon. Brandon, you've never watched porn before, Brandon. Carl, you've never watched porn before, Carl? It's accessible, and because it's accessible, Liz, people use it. Just I'm say, just say you beat. I think you beat him most guys can agree that they have at least at some point watched it. A lot of my teenage years, I spent a lot of time self-obsessing over it to the point where it. Jared looks a little old, and he said, "In my teenage years." How old are you now, Jared? This is only for teens. Get out. Kind of became an addiction, and it took until very recently to get out of the hole of, you know, paying for porn. I do watch it, but I don't like that I watch it. You pay for porn? See, that's the problem. I just don't know how you pay for porn. You will never finish watching the, all the porn videos on porn now. And you still feel the need to pay for more? Lord have mercy. Jared is an old nigga. He said, in my teenage years, this is only teenage boys. You don't belong here. Uh, I said no. Um, I used to watch it a lot before. Um, nigga, what? Do you watch porn? I'll say Carl, say yes, say agree. My dad is in prison, so there was no one really for me to talk to about sex. So porn was my education on sex. There, there's a lot of ways to learn about sex other than porn. Nigga, just say you liked watching porn. You can search up articles about sex. This nigga talking about that was the only place I can go. I can't stand niggas that want you to that want you to feel bad for them and shit. Nigga just say you wanted to watch porn, bro. My dad never been in jail and I would never talk to him about sex. The fuck are you talking about? You know, I'm sure we've all been there where you're on page five and like nothing is right. Like you just you're looking for that right video. But your dopamine like receptors and everything is so messed up at this point that the same thing that would would that would get you off wouldn't get you off anymore. I've been further than page five before. Way further. I'm kidding, bro. I've never went as far as page five before. If you niggas are scrolling through pages, just, you can't find the right video. There's something wrong with you. Where me, I'm a straight man. I started watching trans porn because it was just erotic in a different way that I've never seen before. I needed more stimulation. Uh-uh. 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 I didn't know this was going to be this type of video. I didn't know teenage boys were confessing their flip side to their sexuality in this video. I never knew this was gonna be that type of video. Whoa, 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 whoa. Transgender videos? No, 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 no. My, my brother, you gay. <coughs> Have you ever cried in front of someone else? I've cried in front of somebody else. And it was not like a sad cry though. Like it was an angry cry. You know what I'm saying? Like you burn it inside, you wanna say so much so you can't, so you tear up. Like, I got so mad, so I teared up. That's what I'm saying. I, I'm not talking about <laughs> type shit. Like, so mad that I started, like, <laughs> not like that, though. That was some kid shit. I had a girlfriend, and she broke up with me over text. And before that, I, we were, like, talking, and I cried in front of her, and I was 
being honest, and I thought that's what she was supposed to do. That's what my dad taught me, right? But I guess she interpreted it as being insecure, and she broke with Your dad a bitch. With me, and that, that really messed me up for a little while because it's like, well, now I know I can't show any kind of insecurity, so I don't. But, but, but Nathan, what did you do that made her feel like she can break up with you over text? I feel like this is something like that built up in the relationship. What did you do for her to have no respect for you to a point she's breaking up with you on text? Girls are uh, like very emotional beings. So like it's very unlikely that she would just break up with you over text and just leave it. Because it's like if you really set the tone, if you offer a lot of things that your significant other do not want to lose, last thing they're doing is breaking up with you on text. How much value did you bring to that bitch? What did you teach her? What life lessons did you actually show her? You know what I'm saying? Like... What did you, like, as a man, I feel like you should bring a lot to the table. The more things you bring to the table, the more scared she is to lose you. It's because uh, he was showing too much emotions. No, 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 at the end of the day, right, like, I really don't think that's the case. That you can't show emotions, you can't cry in front of girls, blah, blah, blah. If you cried in front of your girl, but at the same time, you were actually bringing value into her life, do you think that crying is going to matter? You actually got future plans. You got shit planned out. You got motion, as you ghetto niggas would say. No bitch would want to leave a nigga like that got motion. Motion can mean so many different things. Motion financially, your self-improvement, how she can improve herself. My girlfriend is many. We're never going to separate. But I feel like, God forbid, if we were to separate, she's leaving the relationship better than she came in it. Why? Because I brought so much value to her life. Now she has, I know she got respect for me. She will never break up with me over, over text because I earned that respect from her. I brought so much value to her life that she would never do some shit like break up with me over text. So it's like, it's just like, do, do you bring value to the table? The more value you bring to that table, the more she feels like she can't go without you. What did you do to, to, to make her feel like she can disrespect you like that? I think that's more of a you problem. It's a good thing she broke up with you. Not lock in. Improve yourself, nigga. You can lose money. You can lose bitches. You can never lose knowledge. You can never lose the skills you've gained with experience. And that's the mindset, chat. And I could really get into this, chat. You feel me? Me, I can run four different businesses. If all four of them fail, I'm still going to be successful because of my mindset. This mindset is never leaving. The knowledge I have is never leaving. Feminism uh, has gone too far. 100%. Green, red, 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 red. Everybody got to agree. Liz, I knew Liz was a, I knew Liz was a transgender nigga. I, I knew Liz was, was a woman originally. Let me answer the question. I feel like a lot of feminists would tell you, the good feminists out there, I'll never call a group of people all bad. That's just ignorant. I'll never say if all feminists are bad, right? So the good feminists in the world, they'll tell you, search up the definition of feminism. If you search up the definition of feminism, it tells you they're, they're fighting for equality. That's a beautiful thing. I'd support you in that. I would want my daughter to have equal rights as other men in, their, in the world. You know what I'm saying? This is a beautiful thing. But it's like the definition don't fucking matter if the actions are not matching up. Majority of these feminists, you see how they're acting. They want to be superior to men. They don't want to be equal to men. That's the only reason like feminism has gone too far, I feel like. I've been anxious about my penis size. <laughs> Liz, I knew Liz was gonna agree. <laughs> I started watching pornography, I think around the age of 11 or 12. And that's, you know, that's a very impressionable, vulnerable place to be in. So of course, there's always these feelings about looking at your body. I've been- Ta, ta, ta. No, 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 I just want to say one thing though. You know that like, if your dick is too big, right? It's not like enjoyable for females. You guys gotta understand this, and I'm really like, I'm actually saying this, like people, people you talking about like, I want a 12 inch dick. What are you gonna do with that? She can't even put it all in her mouth. She, bro, you've only got 50% of your dick sucked. You've never got 100% of your dick sucked before. What are you gonna do with, tw with, with, a tw with a foot long dick? I don't understand, like why are you wishing for that, bro? Like I know a lot of girls be saying like, oh, it's about the motion of the ocean. And it's like, it's cliche, but like, nigga, it's true, nigga. I think women are only like five inches deep. Yeah, 12 inch thick is like a more of like a liability, nigga. Like that shit moving everywhere as you're walking. You're all uncomfortable and shit. You gotta buy extra large fucking underwears and shit. And it's like, I don't know why y'all wish for that. Just be grateful with what you got. Fucking complaining and shit, nigga. Just know how to, with, with your own shit, nigga. I have questioned my sexuality. 
Liz. Liz, I knew it, Liz. And this is where I opt out, chat. And this is why I don't like these type of like videos. I guess growing up, I always was into music. I was always into theater. And so growing up, um, you know, I was always bullied because of that, because I was being too gay or whatever. And it's I okay, you can, you can be straight so, doing theater. Um, I definitely did kind of buy into what everyone else was saying. People thinking that definitely like, it gets you thinking, you know? It gets you thinking like, well, like am I or should I be? You know, it's like, do, like, should I be attracted to dudes because I like things that are quote unquote gay? When I started watching trans, you know, trans porn, and it's weird, that, weird to say, but like, I, I got really nervous. I got really, really nervous because I thought maybe I'd be gay. I feel like there's just a strong stigma to, to be straight, you know, like, or a strong, like, a stigma or like a pushing you into it that even right now, I feel the desire to like explain myself, even though we're anonymous right now. Like, I've only been with like actual, like, cis women, but like, I don't, I know that's like, no one is judging me. We're all here to be honest. But it's such a stigma that from the last. I day, am Nathan. I'm judging you, Nathan. And there's certain things that you need to be judged about. When you were a baby, if your mother told you don't touch that, you're gonna go touch it. As human beings, like you know what I'm saying, we can really get into religion and stuff like that, like how the devil influenced you to do it, blah blah blah. Like really get into that. But it's like you know what I'm saying, like just off common sense. When when you're not supposed to do a certain thing. You do it. Like, why Why are niggas fucking in a fitting room? You can go fuck at home in a com at a comfortable bed, but it's like, you can't do that, so it makes you want to do it more. In this moment right now, I feel embarrassed and ashamed for something that should just be, that's just the way it is, you know? You I'm scared of dying. There's, there should be certain things that you should feel ashamed for, bro. Damn, um, <laughs> niggas I not scared of dying. Lie. I was always had the fear as a kid growing up that you know, I'm gonna die and like not fulfill like what I wanted to do here on earth, right? Chad, I feel like, you know, I mean, it's a good point where um, I, I wanna accomplish certain things before I die. But it's like, at the end of the day, if you don't die today, you're delaying your death. You're gonna eventually die. At the end of the day, when you die, you die, it's over. It's just about like, how can you make your mind at peace with the fact that you're dying? And the best way to put your mind at peace as religion. If you truly believe that there is an afterlife, you're at peace. As whereas an atheist, you think when you die, it's gonna be pitch black. Why wouldn't you be scared of that? But it's like, if I'm a religion person, I truly believe in God, I'm devoted to God, I know there is heaven or hell. This is just temporary. That's a beautiful life I'm living. As an atheist, you might be like, oh, what if you're wrong about that? I lived a pe more peaceful life than you. I lived thinking that there was gonna be heaven, and after I die, I don't care what. Like it doesn't matter w what happens after death. I lived a peaceful life, believing there's heaven or hell. There's an afterlife. There's a more. There's a bigger thing waiting for me after death. That's a peaceful way to think. I'm not scared of death because I believe God got me after death. I just feel like you know what I'm saying. Like that's the best way. That's the best way I can put it. That's why I say, like, no matter what religion you believe in, I feel like you should believe in a religion. I feel like you should believe in a higher power because you're all more at peace that way. I'm still working on my religion. I don't want to act like I'm, you know, I'm a priest or anything. You know what I'm saying? But, like, no matter what you think, no matter who you think is God, you should devote your life to that because it's a more peaceful life. This video is too long. I feel bad for my nigga Chris. Am I afraid of the fact that I will die someday? No. It's it's the one Rosie. thing that makes life like special. You know what I mean? It's Rosie. it's 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 the one thing I feel like that actually gives meaning to it. Because if you would never die, then you would never do anything. Rosie. You know, because you would always have more time to do it. Rosie, Rosie. Do you guys feel like you can actually be your genuine self when you're like talking? Nathan to is bro. Like Nathan is just gay and just he's just trying to find a way to come out, bro. How with a girl? Like obviously, if you're trying to impress a girl, you're gonna be dressed nicely. You're gonna wear some cologne. You're not gonna like fart around her, right? It's like it's a, it's a filter. That's thing that's it's not it's not the fact that like I mean, if I dress up and wear cologne, it's not it's not that, and I always wear like some bummy shit. It's not that it's not that I'm not being myself anymore. It's that I'm being presentable for a girl that I really like. I don't know why people think, what the fuck? It makes I'm no sense. Long. There's a lot of times I walk away with talking to a girl I'm really interested in. I'm like, man, I wasn't just, I didn't just come, go up and be me. And get I feel like, I feel like if you can't be yourself around a woman, that's a you problem. Do you like yourself? Do you like who you are? Why do you feel the need to change yourself when you go up to a woman? 
So, so you should really stop. And they, instead of blame, which a lot of guys do, instead of blaming, blaming women, oh, they take advantage of you. Don't be yourself around them. That's a problem within yourself. Better yourself so you can comfortably be yourself in front of women. If they like you, they like you. If not, they, they're gonna kick rocks. There's three billion other girls. We're predicted to, to hit like eight billion people, so four billion. And there's more girls in the world than men. Yeah, there's plenty of bitches out here. Just be, but do you like who you are? I feel like if you go up to a girl and you're acting a certain way, you don't like how you originally act, so you're switching up that act to impress her. That's something you should work on. Walk away and work on yourself. I think it's good to be yourself because, I mean, you can only put a mask on for so long. Shit.